what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i am back with another video so let's get into it let's do it let's get that right there for now okay so we have to roll the astrology dice to see which that was pretty loud to see which zodiac sound we will be doing today today is the fifth so let me change this oops i hope everybody is having a beautiful day today today is tuesday it's 12 41 so today is the fifth if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel don't forget that today's reading, well, every day when I come up on here, that they are general readings. I hope everybody is staying safe as well with this whole coronavirus thing going on. I heard that they was opening up some stores too. So let me light y'all a chakra before I roll the dice. I also had this third eye chakra candle already lit. So I actually may not need to light a chakra because I already have this third eye um, chakra lit and it's for wisdom and right vision okay i might like a um root chakra this is another third eye chakra so the throat oh no this is a this is a throat chakra i'm sorry that's a third eye chakra this is a throat chakra this chakra amplifies your skills of expression and communication. When open, you will excel in expressing yourself creatively. Creatively. Um, it's good for inspiring, balancing, and clarifying. All right, all right. Okay, okay. All right, so go ahead and light this up. Thank you, um, everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really do. Ooh, that's my bark. I really do appreciate it. You know, I love the support. And I also appreciate the comments. I have been seeing y'all comment and giving me feedback. I've been feeling more welcome now that we've been communicating back and forth. I don't just feel like I'm up here talking to myself. So I'm really happy about that. People are commenting and stuff now. I'm happy. We're growing as a family. I hope we can continue to grow. Should I burn sage? Because I got a lot of shit burning up in here today. Should I burn some sage? Burn some sage. Oh, yeah. And I got my um Lord's Prayer candle lit, too. I told you I got a lot of stuff lit today. Today may be a lit day, you know? Today may be the day. Let's just speak it into our existence. Let's just own it. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will achieve our goals today. Maybe not all of them, but at least one or two of them. I normally do three goals for myself a day, and they like little small goals. Just write them down, and I try to do it. And if I don't do it, I kind of do feel disappointed in myself. Because I want to accomplish it. And when I accomplish it, I reward myself. Alright, so let's go ahead and roll the astrology dice. We got the sage burning. Let's see. We have Cancer, Pisces, Aries. Dang. Cancer, Pisces. We got to do better than this, y'all. We, we can't keep rolling the same um, dice every time. I just did cancel. Let me see how long ago was it that I did cancel. I want to make sure I'm being fair to everybody and everybody is getting a fair chance. But if the astrology dice said I need to do those signs for the day, I also have to take that into consideration because these people may need messages from me today. So... I'm going to do cancer because I love cancers. So I am going to consider that. I'll do the cancers. Aries. Somebody requested on my Facebook to do Aries. So I'm going to do Aries too. So cancer. Aries. And what else? I need another one. They said Pisces. I don't know. 
Sagittarius, and I don't know what the other one is. Let me see. Hold on. Astrology dice. Yes, sign symbols. Okay, because I want to know. Oh, that's Leo. Okay. Didn't I just do Leo too? I just did Leo 21 hours ago. I'm not doing Leo again. What other signs do we got that we didn't do? Virgo. Did we do Virgo? Virgo. So today we're going to do Cancer, Aries, and Virgo. Let me make sure that's all spirit want me to do. Because I don't want to get in trouble with my spirit. Oh. Aquarius, Capricorn, and Pisces. <sighs> Okay, so I may just do Cancer, Aries, Virgo, and Capricorn. Aquarius and Pisces, they may be last on the list. Just saying, because I just did a Aquarius reading one day ago, and I just did a Pisces reading one day ago. So, you're all good for right now. But, I know I need to do Capricorn first. So, I'm going to do Capricorn and Aries first. So yeah, Capricorn and Aries first. Capricorn and then Aries. And then Virgo. Alright. My bad. Y'all know we family. We can connect. We can talk. Patience is a virtue, right? Right. Be patient with me. I should have had all this already figured out prior to me getting on camera. All right. So Capricorn, let's get into it. I got some carrots, so I will be snacking on my carrots, by the way. The way I shuffle be having the parking lot. Okay, Capricorn. So this video is for the sign of Capricorn. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This is a general reading, so what doesn't apply, let it fly. Um, if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload upcoming videos. And yeah, let's just get into it. So... You had a ten of uh, wands, ten of swords, feeling stabbed in your back, feeling defeat, feeling defeated. Okay. All right. Let's keep going, Capricorn. Feeling defeated, feeling stabbed in your back, um, feeling like you want to move to calmer waters, feeling tired, defeated, um, alone. You're not sure how much more you can take? The high priest is wanting to come out. And this five of pentacles keep wanting to come out. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
And then you have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you really, you really um feel trapped in your head, um, Capricorn. And I think it's in regards to you taking a leap of faith. I mean, not a leap of faith, testing the waters. Testing the water in regards to, I'm not sure if it was moving. Okay. Feeling like you don't know what to do. In a mental prison, feeling trapped in your, in your thoughts. Ever since that person said that, I haven't been shut down right. What y'all did to me? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just paying attention to it more now. Okay. You have the tower card that came out. So, yeah, something happened. And the King of Cups. Mm. Something happened with a water sign, Capricorn. You have the Strength card, Leo. You have the Page of Cups. You could be dealing with the Pisces. And you also have the four of pentacles that fell here on the floor. You also have the four of pentacles. Okay, so um, this situation, this, okay, so I'm picking up um, Capricorn. You will be going through a situation that's going to cause a heavy burden over your life. Um, it's going to mess up some stuff. But in order for, like, something is... Something is getting messed up so something better can be given to you, okay? So you could come out of this frustration, this pattern, these old cycles. This this tower is something that you can't avoid. This is going to happen. Um, it could happen in the month of August, the 10th of August, August the 10th. Or maybe you could be dealing with the Leo. Somebody's birthday is August the 10th. So there's Leo energy here. Okay. You have um, elephant spirit learn from the past. You have well spirit trust the great mystery. You have Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. Thank you. You have Peacock Spirit, Let It Shine. Okay. Um, turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race you have sandpiper spirit be playful use your mind wisely and then you also have wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom thank you okay um you have b spirit sweet results await you have Scarab, Scarab, Spirit, Scarab, Scarab, I don't know, Scarab, 
Beetle spirit magic works through you. Skate rap, skate rap. I can I have a hard time with saying that word. And somebody did shout out to you. I forgot your name, but somebody on YouTube did help me pronounce the word right. Skate rap, skate rap. I don't know. I don't know how to say it right. I'm trying, but it's like I, I can't say it. I don't know. I'm having a hard time. Anywho, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, so that's all we're going to take from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. All right. So you have Pet Spirit Claim Your Independence. You have Otter Spirit. You are never alone. Spirit has your back. You are divinely guided. Spirit is watching right over you. You have your own personal angel. You have Buffalo Spirit, the abundance universe will provide. So you don't have nothing to be worried about. Of course, you're going to be worried because it's a tower. It's something bad happening to you. You know what I'm saying? It's called an effect. But... We got to go through that process. Anyways, you have Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. Y'all, can I show y'all something right quick? So, it's this tarot reader on my channel. Because when I saw the dolphin, it reminded me of this. But it's this tarot reader on my channel. Okay. Sorry, y'all. My son is texting me. What I was saying? Oh. So, okay, so here it is. <laughs> I keep doing the same thing. I feel like I keep reading stuff. I get so distracted. So, somebody posted, some, okay, so this girl named Julia's, Julie, Julissa's Messages, okay, this is her YouTube, um, she does tarot reading too. Okay, so that's her YouTube, right? And she had posted this picture yesterday, y'all. So if, if if I'm not tripping, you know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like that looks like a dolphin a little bit. Like for me, it was giving me dolphin. Like look closely, okay? Look at the face and then look at that. You see how I can get that? I don't know. But I was I had called me and it was like, looks kind of like a dolphin, you see. I don't know what I can't see it. But anyway, it remi it reminded me this card is kind of resonating with me a little bit. Dolphins, the the whole blue, this aqua third eye color, this blue color is like resonating with me. Anyway, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Okay, and then you also have Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusions. Okay, so let me let me read it to you in order so you can actually understand your message. Okay, so for starters, for the first um for your first message that spirit wants you to know is that you have B spirit, sweet results await for you. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide for you. So. You have sweet results waiting for you. The universe is going to provide. You have cat spirit claim your independence. You have dolphin spirit. This and that are true. Okay. Claim your independence. You need that. Um, dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusions. Um, and then you have elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Okay. So these were all of the cards that I got for one message. Okay. Um, you need to... Believe that the universe has your back so you can get out this mental trapment, okay? I know you're going through this tower moment and you really don't understand what's going on around you. Like, you're feeling defeated. You know, you're feeling like, damn, what the hell is going on? Why me? Why not you? Because there's something better on the other side of that, okay? You have the other spirit. You are never alone, okay? You have um, reclaimed your power, panther spirit. You also have Peacock Spirit, Let It Shine. So when you reclaim your power, I have a feeling that 
you are going to be coming on top. You, people not going to know who you are no more. It's going to be a whole new you. Um, when you reclaim your power, you're going to be even. You're going to be a best, a better version than you was. A better version of that person. A better version of the person people knew you to be. You're going to be ten times better than her. Like so, people may know you as the old Teresa or the old. Renee, but you know, once you reclaim your power back and you let it shine, you're gonna be the new Teresa, you're gonna be the new Renee, okay? Um, you have pig spirit, use your mind wisely. So, when you're when you decide to um reclaim your power, use your mind wisely. Reclaiming your power does not mean stepping on nobody, okay? Reclaiming your power does not mean using it for anything bad. Reclaiming your power is basically um, vibrating at your all-time high, being a the best, highest version of yourself, um, treating people how you would like to be treated. What you put out is what you get back. So always remember that and live by that meaning. Like no matter what you do, no matter where you go, there should be something in the back of your mind that you always think because it's true. Okay. Um, you have Saint Piper spirit. Be playful. Yeah, Skyrap. Here we go again. Skyrap, Beetle Spirit, magic works for you. So you need to enjoy yourself while you're um, going through this transformation, Capricorn. You have Turtle Spirit, slow and steady wins the race. So I know you feel like, damn, like this is a delay, or you know it's been taking a long time to get where you need to go. But God says the best for last, Capricorn. Okay, um, and depending on wh when is your birthday, Capricorn, because Capricorn started, I believe, at December 24th. I think their birthday start after this, because my birthday is December the 14th, and I think Sagittarius stops at the 18th or the 19th or the 20th. I don't know. Anyways, um, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Trust the great mystery. You have will spirit. And turn your knowledge into wisdom. You have wolf spirit. So, take that how it resonates. That was some good advice for you, Capricorn. And let's get to the juicy stuff. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. This is my favorite deck. I like hot. I'm gonna rub my tooth. Okay. okay. Here we go. All right. Spirit wants you to expose your emotions, Capricorn. I kind of feel like you need to have a good hard cry to it you need to do one of those good ugly cries i'm feeling that definitely feeling that um smart ass mouth you can feel like this person has a smart ass mouth or maybe you have a smart ass mouth exhale okay this cancer card wanted to come out but i'm gonna go ahead and put it back in Okay, so I'm telling my wife about you because I want you. Oh, so this person is married. So this person um, is deciding to tell their wife about you because they made the decision. Commitment. Wow. So maybe you're needing to expose your emotions to this person so y'all can come to a common ground instead of having a smart ass mouth about it, Capricorn. No shade. Um, stop pretending. How could I hurt and betray someone so beautiful? I love when you lick my nipples. Here we go. The tables have turned. So I'm feeling like you need to exhale in regards to the situation because the tables have turned. And I feel like it's going to work out in your favor. So you may have been getting a short end of the stick from this person for a long time. But 
with this tarot card right here, because remember we got this tarot card, things are going to be changing after that. And this King of Cups is going to be coming in with an offer. Now, I don't know what's inside this cup, as we, as I always like to remind y'all, but this person is coming. He got the King of Cups. He is a king, he is ready, and he is going to offer you something, but we don't know what he's going to offer. Um, I'm horny, so this person could miss your body or miss being intimate with you, or they could, every time they think about you, they get aroused, hindering you. Okay. Um, you need you okay. Okay, let's get more. God hears you. Okay. This person it says I worry about our relationship. So either you're worried about the relationship, which I think you are, but I think they're worried about it too. Okay. You're needing to breathe. Exhale. Exhale. Bigger is always better. I can't find the right words to say. Okay, so I feel like when um, expose your emotions, like this person may want you to expose your emotions to them, but I feel like you don't, you can't find the right words to say because it's like you. I, I'm not sure if you know, but this person is married. Okay, it says bisexual. Don't hide it. So you may need to stop pretending that you're not bisexual. I mean, that you're bisexual or something, and that that is not that's not for everybody. That's not for everybody. That's not for everybody. I'm not saying everybody is bisexual. No, but for one person or maybe one or two people, because this is a general reading, and I'm reading for the collective. Somebody out there in the world is bisexual. It's true. Could be dealing with the Pisces, which I said because of this page of cups. So this is what's this is what's tripping me out, okay? Because it's not kind of tripping me out, but it's kind of looking like this person will show up. Didn't I say I didn't know what was in that cup? I said, listen, they're the king of cups. They're gonna give you this awful, but I'm not too sure what's in that cup. And then, but look what's in that cup. A dead fucking fish. So they wanna pretend and act like they're the king. Like, yeah, like they're the king, you know what I'm saying? Like, they have they, they, they have something good to offer you in their cup. And this is what I always try to break down in my readings because with the king of cups, yes, the king of cups is a is a grown, strong man and about his business. Ooh, I don't know why my hand's shaking today. But we don't know what's inside this cup. So we can't see what's inside this cup right now, right? And he's advertising himself to be the king of cups, right? So he advertised himself to be the King of Cups. And then after that, I had pulled the Page of Cups. Okay. So you made it seem like you was a boss, like you were a king, you're really a page. So now what's inside this cup is this dead fucking fish. And the fish not even alive. You can't eat it, can't cook it, can't do nothing with it. Like, what why why would you put me in a dead end situation? Okay, so that's something that I'm picking up with this Pisces. So if a Pisces is trying to come towards you, I hope that you can't find the right words to say. You need to be saying bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's what you need to be saying. Shed some tears. Okay, so God hears you. You need to shed some tears. Okay. Weirdo or creep. This person could be a weirdo or creep. Okay. Don't be late. You need to be late to that Pisces event. Whatever event that you're going to with this Pisces, you need to be late. Don't don't deal with the Pisces. I'm sorry. I don't because the only reason I'm saying it because they went from they trying to act like they're a boss when they're really a little ass boy. No, no. I don't want a student. I want the professor. In the summertime. Okay, so you could have asked a question. Could have asked a question in regards to something. I had a note as well right here. Or some say you could have asked a question. What is this? 
I plan on spoiling you. I plan on spoiling you with gifts. Okay. You have I choose someone else over you. So you you could have felt like in the summertime this person chose someone else over you. That's why um it caused all this frustration and caused you to worry about your relationship because you thought that they will pick you to be in a relationship and no, they had other options. Okay, so you method you rather make your heart loving you is like a battle. So this person, um this person does not know how to receive the, the amount of love that you're giving them. They do, but they don't. Kind of is what I'm picking up. Okay. You are my eternal love. You have 666. So many things remind me of you. Okay, so when this person um, chose somebody else, like, so many things could have been reminding you of this person. Like, you could have been seeing. Hey, Google. What is the synchronicity meaning of 666? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. But I found something else. Do you want to know what the meaning of the number 666 is? Yes. These cards that fit on the ground. So, we're going to read these back when she finish. Say it, Google. Play, Google. Hey, Google. What should you do when you see the number 666? Six, six, six? I don't even know I'm asking. Sorry, I don't understand. But I found something related. Do you want to know why the number 6 keeps showing up? No. What is the angel number 666? Six, six? Six. Hey Google, what is the angel number 666? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Do you want to know what the meaning of 666 is? Like, it's on the website. Like, it says 666 angel number. What does seeing 666 mean? Hey, Google. What does seeing 666 mean? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Do you want to know what the number 666 means? No, because you always act retarded. No, be quiet. So, I'm going to just read it out loud to you I guys. I don't understand. No, I don't want you to understand. You don't understand. Leave, just shut up. So, the angel number 666 means if you repeatedly see 666 everywhere you go, don't be afraid. The devil is a coming to get you, contrary to common belief. 666 meaning is associated with positive vibrations and actually contains a very optimistic spiritual message. This pattern acts as a reminder that our spiritual journey is more important than our material possessions. The angel message associated to this sequence acts as a wake-up call and encourages us to, to take stock of our beliefs and values. I'm going to write that on the back of this card one of these days or maybe on here since she always act like she don't want to say it because it's so demonic and it's not. First of all, they need to update their Google system because Google should already have this. If it's on the website, she should know this. Fun fact. How don't she know? And it's on your website. It's Google. Google is Google. What the hell? Let me focus. So, Nurturing came out. Okay. Um, Libra came out. So, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Libra could be horny for you, Capricorn. They, uh, maybe you had, um... A Libra, you get a Libra, Libra roused up, Capricorn. I want to look you up and down. A Libra wants to do those intimate things with you, mystery. You oh, look at looky looky, Capricorn. Welcome, Capricorn. You speak to me through music. Okay, I plan on spoiling you with gifts. You speak to me through music. So clearly you and this person are not in contact right now, apparently. 
y'all are not together right now let me ease your mind and lick your pearl yeah this person really miss misses being intimate with you Okay, okay. So you have pay close attention, observe, keep quiet, common sense, and stop talking. Okay, so what's hindering you is you're not paying close attention, you're not keeping quiet, you're not using your common sense, and you need to stop talking to this weirdo and this creep. Whoever this weirdo and creep is, you have to really like use your discernment in this situation and navigate. Okay, it could be a stripper. Okay, your gr a grandmother. Okay, could be significant. I hope your grandmother is not a stripper. Just saying. Um, believe. Okay, so spirit wants me to let you know that believe that this person is going to tell their wife about you, Capricorn, because they want you. All right. Um, they they really do feel how could I hurt and betray someone so beautiful? I love you and I want to lick your nipples. You rather make it hard. Love you is like a battle, but they want you. Spirit wants you to believe that this person is really um going to come towards you. But I'm not sure if you're gonna even want them after that. It's like, do I even really want this now? So you have breadcrumbs. Okay, so I'm picking up. You are very nurturing to this person while this person kept giving you breadcrumbs. And this could have been a Libra because that's what Libras do. No shade, Libras, but yeah. Um, Something could be happening in December for you, Capricorn. Oh, but also some, Cap some Capricorns have birthdays in December. Okay, so you guys could be opposites or feel like you are opposites. All right. Um, I worry I will never get you back. Yeah, so this person, like I said, you are not, y'all are not together right now. Y'all are not in contact right now. I miss being intimate with you. What did I say? I said that that person miss being intimate with you because all this nasty stuff they want to do. I want to lick you up and down, roll you all the brown, lick your pearl. Lick it from the back. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Fantasy, so this person fantasizes about you, or you fantasize about them. I'm more hurt than you think. Yeah, so this person, okay, so back to what I was saying about this person who's going to be telling their wife about you. They're more hurt than you think, and Spirit wants you to really believe what they say when they come to you and, and um, with this offer. It says accept the offer, but I, I hope it's not this Pisces. I done told y'all don't do it because he going to go from this. He gonna go from a night to a page. That's the only reason why I'm saying don't, don't do that. Because he not actually showing you who he really is. And who got time to be playing the game. Not me. I'm not used to the, I'm not used to the kind of love you gave me. Wow. Okay, so that could be from a Libra. They're not used to the kind of love that you gave them. Or this person. Either you wear glasses or this person wears glasses. That could be something that's significant as a reminder to you um stalker and we already know that this person is a weirdo and a creep so they could be like stalking your social media right now stalking you maybe uh stalking like going by your grandmother's house or something um you could have been a stripper or maybe you used to be a stripper and now they like asking all your old stripper friends or going to your old strip club okay taurus okay Ooh, don't bring them don't do that stop explaining who you Stop explaining who you truly are. Okay. Illusions back to back. Yes. Give me. Give me good. Oh. I want to cater to you. Yeah, because they know that they gave you breadcrumbs. After you done nurtured the situation, you should be catering to me after all that I did. And I'm not saying that you did it to get something in return, but you treat people how you want to be treated. If I'm treating you in a good way, why won't you treat me like that? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't appreciate if I gave you bread freaking crumbs. I was there morning, day, and night. So a Taurus could have been there for you morning, day, and night. Um, You are my eternal love, okay? I see clearly now. I hope so. 
slow down. Slow and steady wins the race. As we already know that because we had turtle spirit, right? So remember to slow down. Slow and steady definitely wins the race. So don't forget that. Slow down. Well, this person is needing to slow down. You're going to need to slow down on this person that's going to be coming to you with this offer. You're going to have success, okay? If you are wondering in regards to that. And I think that was what this December card was about. I think this will be successful in December. Got me going crazy. I bet you are. You got to going going crazy. You stalking now? You you being a weirdo, a creep? I mean, I hope for because this could be for my males. You feel me? Like it could be reversed. The roles could be reversed. I could be talking to a male Capricorn. It could be this stalker girl. This this girl, she a stripper that keeps stalking you and she won't leave you the fuck alone. Um, it's a blessing to have you in my life. Okay. So this person looks at you like you're a blessing. Um, you speak to them through music. They plan on spoiling you with gifts. Okay, you are a blessing. Clear your mind. So there's no more needing to have illusions back to back. Stop explaining who you are. Stop worrying about the relationship. You know, the tables have turned, but clear your mind and allow things to play out. Allow the universe to provide for you. I give up. Yeah, so you could have given up on this person and that's why it's causing them to react in this way because you no longer, you, you gave up. Like, you're defeated and we know that, that you gave up. Like, what more could you do? You want to ground, you got all these swords in your bag. You, your head turns the other way, you can't even see. It's very personal. Babies. So this person could want babies with you or you have children with this person. And no more rainy days. Thank you, spirit. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right. So let me put these over here for you. Got to organize them first. That was really interesting. So this person, whoever this person is that stabbed you in the back and got you feeling defeated, they are really, 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 really upset with their behavior. And I don't know how they upset with their own self, which is growth. And that's actually a good gesture. It's cool and cute and all. But um, why didn't they think about that before you did it? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They, why didn't they think about that? Had that same energy before they, did, before they did it. But, I mean, it's okay. God forgives everybody. So, it's... It, better that they came around and figured it out because they know that you are their true love you are the, you are their true person you know they do want to continue to build with you and be with you but it took for them having to go through all of these um lessons to learn that popcorn So we're going to get some, um, more tarot cards. We're going to use this tarot. Wow. We're going to use, why is it I like that. Oh my God. Let me get that. We're going to use this tarot deck to clarify the first, um, easy rider deck that I, the first spread to see, um, if spirit has any more messages for you. Okay. 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 You have temperance. Okay. Money restrictions and testing the waters. Okay. You have five of pentacles, delays around money coming in from the code. Okay. Thank you. 
So you have the chariot, which represents movement of residence, journey, victory over a situation or problem, balancing the opposite polarities. Okay, you have death, death of situation or endings, new beginnings. Okay. You have the full card, good friends, happiness, needing to take a giant leap forward. Okay. And then you have Ten of Wands, weighed down with problems, very heavy load. Yeah, we know that. You trying to get you away from that. We know that. You have the Nine of Pentacles, which represents peace of mind and contentment. So once you um once you wait, once you um put down these wands and these burdens and these problems and get out of this mental imprisonment, you'll be able to navigate through and see which way of how to move forward like you'll be able to have a clear understanding on how you could come out come out from the cold because right now you're feeling very cold but you're feeling very messed up in your head because of the way this person went about things like like why would like you kind of feel like why would they do that like why did why they have to go about it like that and it's like now you want to fix it now you want to no and it was causing you to be conflicted and confused and to really feel um not good at all so this is a quote to med meditate on overcome anger by non-anger overcome evil by good overcome the miser by giving overcome the liar by truth okay so exactly so you as as which is perfect you hit this person with the truth. This person already knows you the truth. They know what it is, the connection that you have and who you are as a person. And when you walked away, that caused, it caused a big um, wake-up call, a big, um, it woke them the fuck up. Like, it was like, hold on, wait, I, I, I don't want to lose her. But then I can't, you can't, you got to come correct. You can't mess with me when you already married. Like, you, what the fuck, like. Though one defeats a million men in battle, one who overcomes himself alone is, in fact, the highest victor. 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 I like that name. Victor. My name is Victor. Victor Ruth. Whoa. Thank you, spirit. I am worthy of love, and I choose to love myself, as you should, Capricorn. Once you start doing that first, everything else will fall into place. That is the affirmation that you need to say to yourself on an everyday basis. Um, this is a quote to meditate on. Do not say anything harsh back to this person. What you have said will be said back to you. Angry talk is painful. Retaliation will get you. Yeah, and the way you go about stuff that people say and do to you, how it takes you take you down, yeah, be careful how you treat people. Don't 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 be dishing out shit that you can't take back. You feel me? Just saying. Okay. And two more quotes to meditate on and I'm gonna let you go. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you got this far with me. Thank you so much for your support. All right. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to live in equanimity, free of hatred and attachment. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings had happiness and the causes of happiness. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were free of suffering and its causes. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were never separated from the happiness of higher rebirth and liberation liberation okay 
all he buddha wanted for us to understand our own nature isn't that so simple okay so let me read that back all buddha wanted was for us to understand actually what the hell oh my god the fucking hit all the way in here that this shit is annoying Anyways, all he wanted was for us to understand our own nature. Isn't that so simple? You don't have to believe in anything simply by making the right effort. You understand things through your own experience and gradually develop all realizations. Sorry, guys. I was trying to read y'all some quotes to meditate on and I'm getting fucking interrupted. I hate that shit. I'm going to let y'all go. Thank y'all thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry for the interruptions. Um, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe.